This video is a source of knowledge for undergraduate students of psychology. Hello, I'm Kustina Korodimu, and in the following video, human mate selection will be discussed. According to Darwin, any behavior has a function for the survival and reproduction of species. One example of a behavior which is explained through evolutionary psychology is gender differences in sexual selection. Evolutionary explanation is based on a biological difference between males and females, which is called anisogamy. For males, there are many sperm cells during the lifetime, while for females, there are few eggs. The parental investment theory by tribes proposes that the sex that invests more heavily in the offspring is more selective in mate choice than the less investing sex. The higher investing sex is usually the female. Women have much larger obligatory parental investment as they must carry the fetus in the womb for nine months and nurse the infant for years afterwards. There are fundamental differences between males and females concerning the criteria for mate selection. Males are less choosy and seek many sexual partners, especially young women with a specific body type, since these characteristics demonstrate health and fertility. Females are more choosy and seek for few sexual partners. My name is Zach and I'm going to present the social factors. To identify the universal dimensions of long-term mate preferences, we used an old civil database of preference rating provided by several thousand participants from three dozen cultures. Participants from each culture responded to the same 18-item measure. Statistical procedures ensured that rating provided by men and women considering participants from each culture were weighted equally. We identified four universal dimensions. Love versus status or resources, dependable or stable versus good looks or health, education or intelligence versus desire for home or children, and sociability versus similar religion. Several standard sex differences were replicated across cultures, including women's greater evaluation of social status and men's greater evaluation of physical attractiveness. We present culture-specific weighting on the universal dimension across sex and between sex to facilitate future cross-cultural work on human mating psychology. Therefore, the variation of sexual selection on a cultural level is more common in societies where discovering new and different mates is the main motivation for external mate selection from other cultural ethnicities. Hello, I'm Lorena Thanasiu and I'm going to present you the biological aspects of sexual selection. Children experience the first feeling of sexual attraction at the age of 10. McClintock and Herdit have suggested that the emergence of sexual attraction may be stimulated by adrenal cortex steroids. In pubertal males, atrogen levels are higher than the estrogen and masculinization is the result, while in pubertal females, the estrogens predominate leading to feminization. Many differences in sexual practices and preferences indicate that the control of human sexual behavior involves the highest levels of the nervous system. Nevertheless, research on neural mechanisms of sexual behavior have fo focused almost exclusively on hypothalamic circuits. In the 1970s, structural differences between the male and the female hypothalamus were discovered in rats. Gorgi and his colleagues found out the sexually dimorphic nucleus, which is bigger in male rats. In humans, the medial preoptic circuit that controls male sexual behavior appear to be dopaminergic. Dopamine agonists microinjected into the medial preoptic area facilitate male sexual behavior. Even though the evidence is mixed, it favors the hypothesis that the hypothalamus is involved in the motivational aspects of human sexual behavior. Hello, my name is Maria Karayani and I'm going to speak about sexual orientation. In the modern world, the meaning of sexual identity has become ambiguous. Even though human sex is fixed by biology, people today can literally decide their gender. Sexual preferences seem to develop very early, and the child's first indication doesn't change as he or she matures. Since the defining future of sexual orientation is sexual preferences, the key studies have examined the effect of early hormone exposure on the sex of preferred partners. In general, the perinatal castration of males has increased their preference as adults for male sex partners. Similarly, the testosterone exposure in females has increased their preference as adults for female sex partners. Research has also shown that differences in sexual orientation have a genetic basis. For example, Pilar de Bailey studied a group of male homosexuals who had twin brothers, and they found out that 52% of monozygotic twin brothers and 22% of the dizygotic twin brothers were homosexual. To conclude, 
mate selection can be both socially and biologically explained.